Welcome to this workshop upgrade series. In this multi-part series, we will be designing and then completing a functional workshop. We will be performing a number of tasks that include welding, woodworking, and even a little electrical. So if you're interested in these sorts of things, let's get started. Previously, I had started on this workshop, but um, I hadn't had a chance to finish it. It ended up being a bigger project than I was anticipating. I got the initial plywood up and uh, stopped here when I started running into issues with the wall. I found the existing wall wasn't actually connected to the foundation. It was floating and the 4x4 beam was not uh, connected at all to the concrete foundation. I dropped in two concrete anchors as a temporary measure on the girt to um, hold it but now we really need to get in there and sure that wall up. Besides the structural concerns, I really want to sure up this wall to build a large workbench. I want to have it self-supporting uh, by just hanging off the wall so I don't have columns or uh, posts that I'm going to trip over. Unfortunately, I have shifted most of my workshop junk to the area that we need to work in. So it's going to be a bit of effort, but uh, we're going to have to get this uh, area cleaned up. I made a quick trip to Lowe's and picked up some 3 quarter inch plywood sheathing. The nice thing about using the sheathing is that it has a tongue and groove. So when we're putting it up on the wall, the um, tongue will fit in the groove of the previous piece of plywood and makes for a real nice airtight and uh, structurally strong connection. Although it may not look like it, this is quite a few hours later and we still got a long ways to go. I'm not really sure where all this stuff came from. It just uh, built up over years and it was time for a uh, good cleanup. I, uh, I'll tell you what, I'm not going to miss this um, uh, uh, rack at all. It uh, didn't have any back um, support, and so anytime you slid something backwards, it would fall off and fall down, and, and uh, it was just a mess. So uh, looking forward to getting this out of the workshop. Once I got the shelving outside, I went ahead and started to break that down, and uh, we'll keep the wood and reuse it for reinforcing the uh, wall. I'm starting to feel a little tired out by this time, so I called out Junior to uh, give us a hand and uh, we were very careful to pick up every single nail so we all know how uh, tires uh, act like magnets for nails. Finally got it all broken down uh, stacked to the side and out of the way and uh, now the real fun begins. We can uh, start uh, reinforcing the wall um, and that'll be our next project. Thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you in the next video.